Not much is left of this home on North 1st Street in Lehighton. Last night, flames ripped through the home and spread to another home next door. It was scary. I saw the smoke and I obviously anytime a fire happens, you're you're praying for the family. But when it's someone you know, it's it's different. Connor Nalesnik says the home that caught fire belongs to the family of one of his wrestling teammates. They were not home when the fire broke out. I care about the team and others before me. So knowing I have teammates who are in need, I was quick to jump the gun and be like, all right, let's get some stuff together and make sure they're all right. And have what they need because they don't have anything at all. So Lehigh and Fire Chief Pat Morris says between the damage of the two homes, eight people are now left without a place to live. The Lehigh and Takedown Club has already started a donation drive for the families. Uh, it rivals up with one of the, the biggest ones that in my career that we've seen in the borough. The Lehigh and Fire Chief tells Newswatch 16 battling this fire in the extreme heat was no easy task, but neighbors and businesses quickly stepped in to help. Uh, just the community support, they came out, they brought water, they bought, brought food. Uh, the support was just, it, it didn't go unnoticed. You always talk about, you know, everyone knows each other in a small town, but when something like this happens, you really see that camaraderie and everyone coming together and caring for each other. A state police fire marshal is investigating what caused the fire. For more on how to help the families, we have information on WNEP.com. Emily Kress, Newswatch 16, Carbon County.